What's up, Mason Jordan? It was getting tense, was it? I need a heart rate monitor. <laughs> Zinez, Zinez, what? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Assembler to the stars. All right. Double F5 for double safety. Let's get this done. Here's what I want. I want to pump as much fuel as I can into here, hopefully to completely fill it up. I think, I think actually we're going to completely fill it up. And leave enough fuel. Wow. Ooh, that's actually really close. Yeesh. Double F5 for double S safety. Let's see if we can't uh, de-orbit, de de-dock that thing. So I double F5'd it. Decouple node. Let's go to this ship. Uh, we really need to improve this guy a little bit as well. I would really like to get uh, some RCS on him so that he could at least puff away just a little bit. Orbit. Retrograde. Check your front. We're clear. Check your rear. Re -re Guys, I'm not going to land this one. I'm just going to let it go. See you later, alligator. That's an unorbit. A very, very, very unorbit. He's getting in the atmosphere, and we're going to deorbit. Outstanding. Let's go back there. I'm just going to let him go. He's going to burn up. That's a long name. <laughs> if you want to stay around for free play, I will fix him. I'm going to put some RCS on him so that he has a little bit of control authority. And I'm going to put some shoots on him so that we can do what we need to do. How are we doing? Four, three. All right. When I pushed against the station, right, I pushed this guy a little bit. I actually pushed myself towards the station. I don't want to be going towards the station. If I can make this say zero, that's best. So let's see what we can get done with RCS. Am I moving it over? Not really. At least I can go retrograde and I can keep myself from going towards the station. Alright, so we have a full tank. We just toss that guy off. This full tank is just going to basically float here. Are we going towards it? 0.4? No, it says we're going away from it very slowly. That's good. All right, that's good. So let's go ahead and uh, F5 for safety again. That guy, not worried about him. If I had Deb recovery, I could actually slap some shoots and we get the money back for him. Just tossing him out of orbit like that. Let's do a decouple node. That is all correct, right? Yes, it looks like it's right. Yep, good. Let's go over to this guy and do decouple node. I probably should have done this first. Go to the assembler bot. SAS RCS engaged. You there, assembler bot. Arm your clampatron. Let's go ahead and uh, control from here as well. Control from here. And puff away. Uh, flip around. I love these things. These things are so much fun. Fix this. Set this as my target. Dink. Outstanding. And let's go get it. I'm just going to clamp onto the docking port just so that my RCS modules go down into the station as opposed to up where they are right now. That's all I'm doing. I just want to grab this module with my RCS down near the uh, lock nodes. I mentioned in my chat, it says. I'm totally mentioned in my chat. This will be fine. We've grabbed it with the assembler bot now, right? And now let's install it. So right click there, set his target, set his unset target, set his target, there we go again. Now watch this, I'm actually going to control from this docking port. Control from there. Let's go ahead and back off this fuel tank some. Oh, fine control, I hate you. <laughs> How am I doing? Monopropellant 160, we'll be fine. There's the station core. Here's what we're going to do. Rotate on around, don't use RCS to rotate. And let us go in this direction. So I'm just lining up with the station. Get that. There we go. That looks good. Let's fly that way using RCS. Was that the right way? Yep, that was the right way. I almost need like a like a heavier duty uh, assembler, right? There we go. I'm just flying over the top of the station. Is that looking good? It's looking okay. It's not looking great, honestly. But let's get this done. After I fly over the top of station, I am just going to rotate on around like that. Line up with the station. So this this mod is so freaking great. I love this mod. Um, I probably should have killed off that velocity before I did this because this is not going to be a particularly good way for me to kill this velocity. Yep, and I need to back it off some. Let's see here. Walrus 14, dude. Thanks for the follow. See if we can't get this thing assembled here. I don't want to smack that piece. I am going to smack that piece. 
So let's fix that. There we go. And I want a little bit of a standoff. It's easier to it's easier to do the docking if I have a little bit standoff, right? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and kill that velocity. Now we're going to point straight at the station. Now we're doing docking, right? We're totally doing docking. This is regular old docking procedures. We're trying to line the red thing. Dude, Santi also. Thank you for the follow, man. I feel like I earned that one, and that makes me feel good. Let's go towards the station. And so that nav ball, the red line, the red thing that I have down there, it's the nav ball docking alignment indicator. I love it. It is the best docking tool, I think, because it doesn't give you extraneous information. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Which way is dorsal for me? That way right there is dorsal, so I know what I'm doing. So now what I'm doing, right? I've lined myself up. Let me do this so I can see. Yeah, there we go. I've lined myself up with a red ball. That tells me that I'm flat with that docking port. I may not be aligned with the docking port, but I'm flat. Now I just need to use the green ball to drag the red ball over the pink ball. Sounds complicated, but it's not really. Look, when the green ball is over to the left like that, I'm dragging the red ball and myself over to the left. Whenever I go straight, when the green ball and the pink ball are right on top of each other, that means I'm going straight down towards that docking port. If we want to go HD mode... We can actually fix our alignment just a little bit, like that. F to lock it in. We're going to dock pretty darn soon here, folks. Actually, here goes the dock right now. Ding! And we're docked. I know I went through that pretty quickly. I do an entire two-hour session where all we do for two hours is rendezvous and dock with stuff. I, I do that. I tweet it out. Follow me on Twitter. Um, that is the entire point of this. But there we have the assembler drone. It needs to go grab that fuel tank and put it down here. But we've got the assembler drone attached here. We've got the top. We've got the docking standoffs. We are good to go, y'all. We are definitely good to go. Let us. There we go. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to go ahead and tank up my, my docking drone. My assembler droid. Need, some, need a good name for that. There we go. We've got that. Let's tank him up. I have so many different designs for these things. I love them. There's so much there's so much fun to drive. There was a follow from Wolfman. Dude, Wolfman, you were here a while ago too, dude. I appreciate that. I I really appreciate it when I feel like I earned a follow by doing something cool or showing you something new or something like that. I mean, I really want you can do all this stuff. You want to learn how to rendezvous and dock like that? Follow me on Twitter. Follow me here on Twitch. You'll see what I'm doing in oh, rendezvous and docking 101 sort of class and we do those maneuvers over and over again. And I will show you how to practice them. That tank's going to get away if I keep running my mouth. So we're jacked up and good to go, I think. We'll go ahead and release that. Control, not the tank, but this guy. RCS, SAS. Get a hold of yourself, man. Back up. Again, I'm going to control it from that claw. Control from here. We can actually turn our lights on. <laughs> Let's go get that tank. Zoop. I'm dorsal upside down right now. Remember, I think I needed a dorsal docking light on this, or a dorsal battery, so I'd know. Yeah, now I'm now I'm in control. Now I feel like I know what I'm doing. Lights off. Let's go grab that thing, y'all. There we go. Set as target. I can actually align with it. Where am I going to grab it? By the end? Eh -eh. He's designed to grab the center of the tank. Like this from the side. That's why he's got the clearance, right? And by the way, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got a Kerbal X profile. And with the Kerbal X profile, I think it would be awesome if I uploaded some of these crafts. If you want to, if you don't want to build your own, if you want to just get the Docker, the assembly droid. Let's back it off some. If you want to get the assembly droid, I'll put them up on Kerbal X. Back it off some more. Slow it down, buddy. Don't be so eager to grab that tank because we want to get, yep, that, look at that. We want to get basically on the center of mass of the tank. So that looks good. Sometimes I put a little cubic oxystrut or a battery or something there to just delineate the place that I need to grab. It's I almost wish that I could put a decal or something on, right? That tank is, is spinning a little bit. Look, it's got a little bit of spin to it. That's okay. We got it. Are we good from this perspective? Nope. Rotate flat. And get it. Excellent. This was apparently designed to do a little bit smaller stuff. In the, in the assembler that I have... It's actually supposed to put this all the way down there. So we'll be a little bit weebly wobbly, but we'll get it done. Let's go ahead and here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to put this on the, now forget it. Let's just put it on the side of the station. Control from here. 
basically what we've done is we've added RCS control and SAS control to this little fuel tank that basically had nothing until we did that. But look, we can totally bring it on around like this. I'm controlling it from there. And let's set one of those middle docking ports, like this guy right here maybe, as the target. And let's go do the docking. So forward, forward, forward. Wow, we definitely need a stronger assembly droid. This is, we did, uh, we were doing hitchhikers with this, weren't we? Yeah, we were doing hitchhikers with this. And this is apparently good for assembling hitchhikers, but it needs a little bit more control and authority for uh, these full orange tanks. It'll be fine, though. We could always retrofit it. We could send this guy somewhere else. He could do some other stuff. And we could put a more powerful docking droid here. Let's go ahead and line up this fuel tank. Zoop. Really? Apparently. I'm clipped to it a little bit sideways. That's not good. All right. I'm not going to really worry about the docking port alignment on this because it's more importantly that I understand the control vectors of the droid. Right? I should actually grab it flat. Yeah, see how see how the droid doesn't have it grabbed at a 90 degree angle to the docking port? That'll be a little bit of a problem, but I've been worse. Been through worse. I was married for a while. So I'm pretty sure I can get this handled. <laughs> so let's go ahead and burn that RCS and get this thing docked. And I haven't checked the chat in a while. Good station to show docking stuff. A bunch of over and over again. Dude, Softcore, you're exactly right. I mean, international... Dude! Santi! Sorry, I'll definitely go back. Remember, if you say the word DAS, D-A-S, it'll highlight it in red, and I'll go back when I check the chat and I'll answer it. Um, D-A-S or question. If you say, I have a question. I wonder if you knew. Are you aware that I'm in? The dad jokes are strong in this one. I am a dad. That is why. Um, you can totally put the word DAS or the word question. It'll highlight it. I have a question. Are you aware that I'm from Mexico City? And that will let me know that you're from Mexico City. There we go. We're a little bit high. Again, guys, I'm just pulling. Where am I controlling from? I feel like I'm controlling from here, right? Control from here. And, okay, that's set as a target. Oh, I know what the problem is. It's because I'm not docked with a 90 degree angle to the, uh... Whoa, slow it down there, boss. Trower. Dude, Trower, thank you for enrolling in Kerbal Space Academy. I'm Dos Valdez. We're docking with the station here. This thing is not powerful enough. It really needs to be more powerful. Okay, I'm, I'm, good, I'm good still. I'm good. I'm good. I need to go down a little bit. Not exactly sure what's going on here. It feels like I'm... Ah, there we go. If. Docking port... Navball docking port alignment tool, y'all. It is one of my most favorite mods. Engineer, navball docking port. All of these things are some of my... Oh, I see what's happening. I know what happened. Because we're not docked at right angles to this, we're actually uh, we're getting unintended motion whenever we try to use our RCS. That's why this is a little bit wonky on us. Because, see, every time I go up, this guy over here fires as well and pushes us to the side. And then, see, every time I go to the side, the guys on the bottom fire too. It's going to make it a little bit challenging. It is going to make this dock a little bit challenging. Let's see if I can't get it close enough, because this is just Kerbal government work, right? I really need to grab... That's a, that's a lesson learned for future docks. I really, really, really need to grab that at a 90-degree angle. I really absolutely need to do that. See how every time I tap it, I'm going in an unintended direction. This is why dorsal is so important. Let's slow down a little bit and go to the side. This is why dorsal is so important to me, and this is why... Uh, a well-balanced craft is so important to me. Slow it down. I need to. I need to set this up. I'm too high, but see, when I when I burn down, it's also going to push me to the side. That's the problem here. I think I'm going to get it close enough, though. I don't want this stable to go weebly wobbly. The stable station is definitely weebly wobbly. We can fix it by getting rid of the SAS control on here. Come on, don't you right-click on me? Hey, now, come on. I don't want this to be doing anything. There we go. You got to click a little bit lower. Release. Little dude, get away. RCS, SAS, get the heck out of Dodge. Let that station take control of itself, right? What just happened to my claw? <laughs> the claw is broken. <laughs> Apparently I can fix it like that. I'm flying away from the station, though. What the deuce? Oh, I don't have that done. That's, that's lame. So... 
There you have it, folks. Levelicious. Man, take it easy. You're very stealthy. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Let me make sure I didn't miss a follow or something. I heard it go ringly dingly. Trower, I got you. It looks like I got all the follows. Everybody with the follows, dude. I totally appreciate y'all. Now we can control from this guy and my dorsal. Nope. That's the ventral side. This is the dorsal side. I'm just going to fly it on up and dock it at the top so that we can refuel it so the next time a tank comes up here. Actually, look at this. I mean, with good rendezvous, we could dock three or four tanks safely. And I'm just going to go ahead and put him on the top. Slow it down, boss. No, 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 no. That was speeding it up. That's slowing it down. And let's do that dock one more time, right? Control from here. That's good. Set this as my target. There we go. Dude, Pro Gamer Asphalt 8. That's an interesting name. Pro, gra pro Gamer Asphalt? Do you mostly pro game... Uh, like racing games or something, maybe? I'm just making that up. I don't know if that's right. I love this little assembler droid. That's the wrong way, though. Now I've turned it the wrong way. And let's get in space. I love the RCS poffing out the side. Being on the dorsal side, look at that. When I press L, dorsal to the left fires, and it brings me to the right. When I press K, dorsal to the top fires, and it slows me down in that direction. Let's go towards it. And remember, I want the green thing to be right with the pink thing. So now we're going towards it. Three meters per second. That'll do, pig. I'm just going to drag. By having the green thing on the other side of the nav ball there, that means I'm going to drag it over it. Now I need to drag it that way. Now I need to put it straight on, basically. Let's go to find control. A little bit more. Ding! I wasn't even looking at the ship. It just docked. It just docked itself. So <laughs> Okay, anyways, whatever, dude. <laughs> that guy needs some work, honestly. Oh, my gosh, the claw. <laughs> so, folks, there you have it. That was Kerbal Space Academy. We were talking about getting a station into orbit, right? Ways that we can get stations into orbit. Our first station was just a station core, and quite honestly, it was a completely functional station. It had everything that it needed on it. It had... Fuel storage, it had RCS storage, it had control, it had uh, battery storage, it had power generation, bat power, power storage, power generation, control, expandability so that we can add stuff to it. The only thing that this didn't have on it was some sort of little engines to do its own station keeping, but we didn't need that because we used the kicker stage to put it into its correct orbit. This should be a really good orbit right now. Engineer says we're at 8400 by 8100. That's not bad for an orbit. Not going to lie. Dude. We also went over adding some modules to the space station. So I talked about how we did the standoff here. I talked about the right way to strut these standoffs. Got my bacon saved by uh, Softcore. <laughs> Got my bacon saved by Softcore when he said, is it going to actually clip with those? Notice how I docked it at a 45 degree angle, right? So this first tank will be off to the side. We should have plenty of clearance for that. We should be good to go. Also demonstrated the assembler droid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that assembler droid up on Kerbal X. I'll talk about it tomorrow. I need to, I need to get that done a little bit faster. Um, Santi, I'm not done. I'm totally not done. <laughs> I pat my own back well. I'm not patting my own back. <laughs> FI for safety. Dude, sleepy. You, you, oh, no. That refreshes the chat. <laughs> good thing I have an emergency backup chat so I can still read. Um, I'm recapping what I went over in Kerbal Space Academy. I'm not trying to spoon. <laughs> yes. Goal! Anyways, I'm recapping what we did. Um, this station is good to go. If you can get a ship into orbit, you can get that station core into orbit. You could use just that station core with none of this other stuff. You could dock right on the edge of it with your craft. You could refill it. You could go to Duna. Whatever you need to do. You could refill some of your RCS stuff. You could do everything that you need to do with this ship, with that station core right there. Um... What else? Anything else? Did I miss anything? Any questions? Anything like that? I'm going to go ahead and check the chat for a second. If you want to keep watching me playing, that was Kerbal Space Academy. That's a two-hour stream where we go in-depth on a topic. Tomorrow we're going to be doing SSTOs and space planes, right? Right after Squadcast. No, not Squadcast. That's on Friday. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, I'm going to be doing SSTOs. We'll build something. I'll go over all the things you need to know in order to design your own. And that will be Kerbal Space Academy tomorrow. If you have any questions at all, I'm going to be here for a while. Ask the questions in the chat. What we're going to